Ladies and gentle bots, welcome to the second part of my Miss Pandaria pre-beta coverage. Now I will start off by saying sorry for the long gap between this and my first video. I hope that you'll forgive me for that. It's due to university work getting in the way. I've been coming to the end of my studies and I've got this part of this time this Friday evening to uh, relax a little bit from all the coursework and studying I've been doing to uh, put out a video for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, as I say, it's pre-beta coverage. I should have mentioned that in the last one. So all of, this, all of this is based on what we know from, say, BlizzCon and what Blizzard have since said. So first part of the video, or first video, we covered the continent of Pandaria. Today we'll be covering the new race, the Pandaren. And we'll be covering both the problems we will have with the race as well as the playable, you know, the the actual in-game race and rather than just lore. So um, let's start with the uh, the problem people have with pa uh, Pandaren. A lot of people are moaning on forums, um, just moaning out loud in general, YouTube, anywhere, that the Pandaren don't suit the theme of WoW. Most of these must have uh, never researched World of Warcraft history or Warcraft itself history. Because uh, the Pandaren were uh, around in Warcraft 3 with Shen Stormsnout. Okay, or short Storm Stout, whichever way. But, okay, fair enough. They were originally a uh, April Fool's joke. But have since become, since become far more. And especially since they're a well-received April Fool's joke, you know, people all over the world, ev you know, uh, all Blizzcoms and all these things have said they want Pandaren in the game. You know, they ask questions, when are the Pandaren coming? When are the Pandaren coming? And Blizzard have now said, now, we've chosen to add them now. Um, and they've got a vast history. Let's just say it, people are going, oh, it's an April Fool's joke, you know, they're, they're kiddly, cutesy, cuddly, ugh. Well, it's not as if they're not going back and giving them a history, just like they did with the Draenei. They've gone. They've decided to go back fifteen thousand years, back to the time of the Sundering, and say, "Well, what, did, what, what were they doing then? You know, where were they then? And um, where have they come from then to now? You know, what, what progress have they made?" So they have researched. You know, what do they do? What are their great heroes of their history? What are their arch nemesis? What battles have they fought? You know, what have they? What technology would they have? You know, what's their culture like? And they've built that up from 15,000 years ago to modern day WoW. And so Pandaren are going to have a lot of lore, a lot of history, a lot of richness. Which maybe even humans didn't have considering they're a very young race. And they've only just been touched upon in, you know, Raph Lich King with the Vykral. Um So Pandaren should be, as long as they're given the right Warcraft treatment, and we all know that... Chris Metzen can write decent lore. Okay, mainly for the Horde, which is going to be annoying, as I'm an Alliance player, as you will see in uh, footage when I do actual in-game WoW footage. But, doesn't mean he writes bad lore. <laughs> you know, he writes really good storylines, really good gameplay and whatever. Shame not all of it gets into the game, but most of it does, or at least get glimpses and stuff of it. So, they will have a rich, entertaining history, and... As people say, oh, it's Kung Fu Panda, um, Warcraft 3 before Kung Fu Panda, and the fact they're not really anything like Kung Fu Panda, okay, they're Pandaren, they're Panda-like people that know Kung Fu, as Poe did. But, let's just take Kung Fu Panda for a minute. Just like pandas, Kung Fu Panda is seen as, uh, just like, well, normal real-world pandas, Poe, the panda in the film, is assumed by everyone to be, you know, weak, fluffy, cutesy, cuddly, because he's a fat, lazy panda. What they fail to realise is this fat, lazy panda can be vicious when he needs to. Okay, in the movie he's not really vicious, he's more bumbling and whatever, but he does tend, he does end up being badass, doing a wash you finger hold or whatever, something that, or, you know, something that's meant to be incredibly hard technique to do against an enemy, which is apparently undefeatable, which he defeats him, and just like that, pandas in the real world are cute, cuddly, but you wouldn't want to get near them because they'd rip your arms off. Um, so anyone that's saying pandas are cuddly, yes, they mean look it, but <laughs> they're badass. Um, they really are, and they're a kind of race you want in WoW. You know, especially if you want a classic rogue. Oh, it's cutie cuddly. Stab. You're dead. Perfect for rogues. Perfect for that kind of those classes. So, uh, as I've just touched on, say, rogue class weather, what classes will they be? Well, 
they can be mages, shaman, warrior, priest, uh, monk. I'm trying to think of what they else they can be. I know they can't. Oh, they can be hunters as well. They can't be death knight, paladin, druid, or uh, warlock. Death knights because they weren't around at the time of the Lich King. You know, they've been hidden on Pandaria. There was no chance for them to be resurrected as death knights. Two, they can't be warlocks because they're not evil, and we'll go into uh, that probably in another video, or maybe I'll touch on it in a minute after this. We'll see. Um, they can't be uh, druids because they haven't got contact with that kind of stuff. Mo all druids on Azeroth are currently either direct followers of um, Scenarian, either like you know the Torn or the Night Elves that have learned under Scenarian, or the other races have learnt from those races, i.e. the Trolls have learnt from the Scenarian Circle. The Worgen, or, you know, the uh, Gilneans found books and, you know, that kind of stuff in their lands. They learnt from that. So that's why those races can be Druids. They can't, be, uh, Pandaren can't because they haven't learnt all that stuff. And they can't be Paladin because Paladins are quite recent. They're quite recent Warriors of the Light. And, um, well, the only true Paladins in game anyway are the Human and the Dwarf. The, um... Draenei Paladins are Vindicators, followers of the Naru Light, rather than the Light Light that the humans and the Dwarves follow. The Blood Elves are actually quite like Vindicators. They originally got their powers from the Naru, drained and I guess tuned them to the Holy Energy. They allowed them to wield it and fight as if Paladins. And they're now are powered by the Sunwell, which got turned from an arcane font to a Holy Magic font. So in fact, pa Paladins should actually be some of the most powerful, because not only do they like, you know, human and dwarves paladins get their power from the light they've now got the sunwell to power them so that's quite interesting maybe i'll do a video on that maybe sometime in the future what kind of things that means probably not but who knows um and whatever what class did i said it can't be warlock death knight paladin druid and i think i've touched them all yeah i've touched them all uh, so those are the classes they can't be and they can be every every other class including monk and I'll cover the monk class itself in another video. So, uh, what else do we have to cover for Pan Pandaren? Well, in game, there are neutral race, the first neutral race in the game, which is an incredibly interesting thing. You level through the starter zone. I would say one to ten, as Blizzard have said, but it's even it's not even alpha yet, as far as we know. It might be in friends and family, but who knows? All we know is that Blizzard have said one to ten, but that's subject to change, obviously. But at the end of the zone. You finish your last quest, you get given a quest to go Horde or Alliance, however that ha works, we don't know. But you go Horde, Alliance, choose your faction, boom, go there. So, uh, you know, you then from that point go from 1 or no, 10 or whatever to 90 fighting alongside your faction. Which comes along to the fact that since you can have both, they're both being PvP, why would a Pandaren beat up another Pandaren? Well, why do humans beat each other up in the real world? Maybe disagreements. But it's also the fact that Chris Metzen at BlizzCon was asked that question. And he replied, well, they don't really fight in the angry uh, or uh, human way. It's, uh, hey, bro, high five, how you doing? Yeah, you want to meet up for coffee later? Yeah, maybe I've got a fight for these horde guys. I'm like, oh, I'm with the Alliance, yeah. And they do some kung fu moves to prove how good they are. So like, yeah, look, I'm doing, I've learned a lot. Yeah, you, you've got good, yeah, you have as well. And they fight alongside each other. Um, they do all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, one will eventually kill the other in game mechanics, but it's probably more like, ah, oh, they beat them, the other one goes off to drink beer. While the other one, who's already drunk, because he won, and only drunk Pandaren win. We know that from their culture, they're big beer drinkers. Um, he goes on and goes, oh, I don't need any more beer, I'm already winning, beats everyone else up. Uh, beats the Horde or say, if he's an Alliance Pandaren, he'll beat up all the other races because he's seen them do atrocious things to the Alliance. The same way the Horde ones have seen the Alliance do atrocious things to the Horde through their leveling zones. That's probably why they do some of the stuff they're willing to do. Don't forget also, the Pandaren new players are different Pandaren to the ones on the continent. They've been on a giant floating turtle for 10,000 years. So their culture is going to be similar, but slightly different. So, yeah, the Pandaren are going to be a very interesting race. Very, very interesting. Hope you've enjoyed this video, by the way, people. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe after, obviously. Um, post any questions you want about the Pandaren I haven't really touched on that you would like to know. Um, I'll try and cover it in a future video. Uh, post comments on what you think like about the video, and post general stuff, you know. Um, you know, what would you like to see me do on... You know, would you like to see more Pandaren stuff? Would you want me to stop? Well, 
people might want me to stop, but yeah, I'm doing it because I enjoy it. Uh, but what do you want to see? You know, do you are you liking these videos? What would you like me to improve? You know, do you like the content but don't like my voice or don't like this, that, and the other? Just what do you want me to do, improve? And just say how I'm doing. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe, I guess. And look, stay tuned for the next part.